To demonstrate the surrounding density and diverse uses credit, let's say that a lead BD plus C new construction project team aims to pursue option one, surrounding density of this credit. The project team chooses to calculate the residential and non-residential densities in the quarter mile or 400 meter radius of the project boundary instead of calculating the combined density. The project team finds the following values. Residential land area equals 120 acres. Non-residential land area equals 40 acres. Mixed use land area equals 40 acres. And total land area equals 200 acres. At this point, the project team should figure out the residential and non-residential portion of the mixed use land area in order to calculate the total residential and non-residential land area. The project teams determine that 50% of the mixed use land area is allocated to residential use and the remaining 50% is allocated to non-residential use. With this information, the project team calculates the land area for both the residential and the non-residential portions within the mixed use. Residential portion of the mixed use land area equals 20 acres and non-residential portion of the mixed use land area equals 20 acres. Then the project team calculates the total residential and non-residential area, which the total residential area will be 140 acres while the total non-residential area will be 60 acres. The project team determines that there are 1,400 dwelling units, including the dwelling units on the mixed-use land, in the quarter-mile or 400-meter radius of the project boundary. And with this information, the residential density can be calculated. 1,400 dwelling units divided by 140 acres equals 10 dwelling units per acre, which is the residential density. Next, the project team learns that the non-residential space, including the non-residential units on the mixed-use land, in its quarter-mile radius is 2,200,000 square feet. The project team performs the following calculations to figure out the floor-to-area ratio. If the total non-residential area, 60 acres, is converted to square feet, it will equal 2,613,600 square feet and the non-residential density will be 0.84, which can be found by dividing 2,200,000 square feet by 2,613,600 square feet. From these results, we can say that the project can receive two points under this credit. If the residential density value of this project was 12 DU per acre instead of 10 DU per acre, the project would be able to receive three points under this credit since its non-residential density, which is 0.84, is above the three-point level threshold. But in this situation, since its residential density is below the three-point threshold, the project can only receive two points.